All right, so we are going to finish with the geoglyphs today. Uh, let me pull up the order. All right, so which one are we on now? side of the map near somewhat near yeah it's over here somewhere all right that doesn't seem like it would take too long I need to do some zonite grinding. Hmm. Then I guess now that I've been told, oh yeah, just uh just uh Use fire against the floor masters. Okay. So I believe... Oh. And now... Why do I need a battery for this? flame emitters do I have? Just need to put on one fan and we can just take a nice leisurely stroll on over. A uh, fan. Let's use two, why not? Perfect. 
Now we can just put on the batteries. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's put them here. Am I even heading the correct direction? Yes. Pretty efficient device, and by that I mean very inefficient. Wow. Um, what am I doing? Um, I need to put on my wingsuit pants. Oh, they're already on. Perfect. Oh, we're in the sky now. That thing was probably to get up to the floating scales island. However... Let's see. That got me pretty far. Alright. Oh, there it is. Aha! I don't see any shrines. Ah, there we go. It's worth getting this one along the way. Oh, right. Stamina. Sounds like a no from me. Alright. Alright, so... I remember this area in the original game having, like, nothing in it, so... Let's see. This is disappointing. All right. If I had a rocket shield. Oh, but this is an easy puzzle. Why would I even bother skipping this? We can pull it forward a little bit. Bam. All right, shrine solved. There's more crime. Hmm. All right. Let's 
so you have to put the fan on the wing. That's the puzzle. Oh, okay. That works. Is that the intended solution? Maybe. Another strong spear, a strong strapping spear. The frickin' bouncy stick. All right, let's grab a fan. Strap all these to a wing. Bam. Bam. Right, I think I have this thing saved in auto build. Oh, I can't use auto build in this in a shrine. Boo. That actually makes a lot of sense, actually. One. Let me get in front of it so it doesn't just leave. Simple, shrimple as that. That's really the puzzle? That's really the puzzle. All right. They just uh, released a new update, but fortunately, I didn't update, so we're still good. Well, let's 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 get this Korok guy, a little Korok guy, to his friend. I've changed my mind. We have this wing here. I had more batteries. I could use the freaking hover bike. But, uh, I don't. So now, let's pull out two fans. Hmm, do I want to use a rocket on this? No, that seems... Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. It was hiding. Can I just start it from here? No. Oh my god, I hate having to, like, 
start a wing. So you're you're joking, right? This kind of works.
How many have you have you gotten since I've been here last? Oh, you just bumming around. Oh. I see. Oh, you you were transporting a Koraka Raka Raka. Get him to fly. Well, you could just do the thing where you lift it up in the air for a while and then put it back down and then um, use recall. Did you not? No, you can. I don't know how the game counts the element that the attachment's made out of. I think it just can I think it just assumes it's non-conductive. I don't fucking know, man. Got Korok while you Korok. To get more Koroks, you need more shield stashes from a rocket shield. And more bomb jumping. I literally like phased out all the Korok hunting I did. I just, I, I just kind of just like went into a Zen mode. I would never be that cringe. <laughs> Can't you ask him again and he'll tell you? Was currently stuck to a thing. I swear they buffed climbing and they're like walking up cliffs. I swear they did it. <laughs> I still have the fucking range you can get with just spear spears. Makes me just make like a pike. Also, triple fucking prime meat. Oh my god. I mean, prime. Like, like, The backpack too heavy. <laughs> Your tomat, goddamn. You see the the bloopy. He's blooping. Oh yeah, the thing right on here. The stuff on ting. Oh, utterly busted. It's they're like so not fair. But also rocket shields do the exact same thing and are easier to set up. Because the game deciding where you can put a fire is kind of a trick. All right. You, you you are the smartest Zelda player. It's just, it's just the humble like like. There's no boulder to rewind. I love how much you committed just to not using. All right, fair enough. I'm 
pretty sure just spamming attack is enough most of the time to do the same amount of damage as charging. Yeah, the health bars in this game kind of lie. It sure is a shield. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> we have an ability for this. You did not think that through very well, did you? Korok. It wasn't. They bait you like that sometimes, so you doubt yourself. There's a cave around here. Actually, there's multiple caves around here, so it could be in one of them. You didn't know that? Of course they would. Why wouldn't they make you suffer? <laughs> oh, yeah, for this one, yeah. As I was saying, yeah, there's, there's a... Every single one of these has a rock somewhere on it that has a core rock. Doe a deer, a female deer? There was an attempt. Mmm. Ugh. Well, I was sitting right down, I got an actual, like, phone call from Dana. And I'm like, you could have called me on Discord, but she's like, nah, I wanted to call your number. I'm like, the fuck? Because her... Like, just not anymore? You don't even have a phone? I was like, it's like, yeah, I know you're capping, but like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, like, question you. <laughs> I have a MacBook. Look at the cutscene. It's so doofy. I love it. My favorite one, though, is the fish. Like the fish mask from the rubber suit. King Raru, we just received word that the last free village in the Gerudo Desert has fallen. <sighs> At this rate, the Demon King's army will overwhelm us. I understand. Our only hope is for me to defeat the Demon King. Rauru. The Demon King. He is not someone you can stop by yourself. Mm. But you are not alone. You have the Gerudo, <laughs> Goron, Zora, love and Rito oh, leaders so cool. as well as Zelda. And of course. Well, she doesn't need a mask. She has the gaming stone. There's something I'd like to show you all. Yo, is that the Kabbalah? Let's go. Maybe. <laughs> I gotta get my brother's body back. Sacred stones. The the room before the one that points where all of the geoglyphs is, yeah. Stand with me. <laughs> I need all your aid. 
Uh, maybe like it's just the communal latrine. I mean, the zone eye are pretty cat like, you know, and covered in like, sand. I still kind of hate how like all of the sacred stones like move in like five meter increments, they just fucking speed around everywhere. Yeah, we've seen that cutscene before. <laughs> Let's go. We are I think you're going to be 100% in the game. Like, can't wait to you, uh, get to getting their masks. They're so cool. I still don't quite know why Raru doesn't have like the third eye open all the time because it clearly doesn't fire the laser beam all the time. So like, why doesn't he want the trinocular vision? Hit. Yeah, but it's basically because all of them are like vassal states. Because there's the Kingdom of Hyrule, which includes all of their lands, but they're like all individual leaders of those lands. Like King Dorifon is still a king of the Zora. So basically, the question is, is like, is he uh, is he subservient to the King of Hyrule? Are they equals? And they just like share territory because they have such good relations? Like, I don't fucking know, man. Really, it's 50 countries in a trench coat. Which is kind of funny. You're going caving, oh my. I can remember this cave. It's pretty cool. It's got a cool gimmick. I hate navigating it, but it's got a cool gimmick. So like, I, like, I, I hate being in the cave, but like, you know, is is a cool. You're just flying down to uh, DOS pillars. I don't feel like you could have like just kept gliding and then like, you know, you can I like, keep using tool in to like get further along and then you're just like hmm not needed you're gonna have like a max stamina and be like hmm but i need to ration this let me go on foot instead <laughs> you triggered the bloopy and then you just wandered away so now you gonna be confused where the cave is Do you want me to tell you where the cave is? There he is. He found the hole in the ground. He is good enough. Also, trying to figure out, like, what's Zonai architecture and what's Hyrule architecture is so hard. For, like, lore stuff. I sure love random side quests. Isn't that fun? Yep. The one who is following around a small child constantly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ugh. Hmm. 
Although of all names for Azora, they went, you know, Finley. Uh. Surely this is the good one, right? Zam. Also, can you pop the Discord streaming tin, or is it still oh. fucked? Yo! Let's see, let's see, let's see. Hmm. There we are. Okay, now I have audio. Wonderful. Because I have to mute the Twitch stream, otherwise I hear like a double of my own voice and I fucking start losing it. Fair enough, yeah. <laughs> Technically, no. You don't need it. He's kind of an asshole. Uh. It's rafting time. Did ever someone just fucking see that it's just always like a chuckle? <laughs> He's 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 big guy. Barrels. He gets kind of snitty if you don't you know do it right. I would recommend making a duster. It's a very dumb quest, yeah. They're really useless. It's just fine. Yup. Well, cause, well, there's a scepter and then there's a rod, you know, and the rods are the one-handed ones that you get from uh, Wizrobes. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Fron de la Korok. <laughs> Ain't that cool? Cool beans, bro. <laughs> Well, you see, he's got a very big backpack. <laughs> he kind of got a dumpy on him. And they call it a bakery van for a reason, you know? And you fucked up. They made a system for this for like the, the 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 quests with the great fairies, and then they're just like, well, what if we put that everywhere? Hi. Ah. This quest really sucks ass. You could also just do the the age old method of make your own fucking platform and literally carry him there. You can like put ice fruit in the water and make it into like ice squares. I do too. 
Like this, like Kratos in the first game felt very out of place, pretty like, like middlingly useful. In this game, it feels like it would come up constantly. Yeah. <laughs> and you fucking just like, oh god. Oh no. Please, Mr. Sun, my run's not quite finished yet. Also, swimming physics in this game are just as bad as Breath of the Wilds. They really suck. Alright, time to send it. Oh, you got so lucky. You got so fucking lucky. You are the never punished. Oh my god. Wanna fish that chest out of the water? It's not worth it, your time, but like you're stuck here anyway. Yep. <laughs> They're never worth your fucking time. Fucking drop it on his head. <laughs> Damn. Doofus, huh? Goofy, huh? I'll say, people in this game are fucking wusses. They're just like, ah, no, you're lifting something. Oh, I'm so terrified. And every time, I'm just like, come on, soy boy. What the fuck are you talking about? All right, you got past the run killer. Congratulations. The sad part is, is that uh, this Zora is probably like three times this guy's age. I always wondered if, like, in Breath of the Wild, Mifo uh -huh. was, like, 12, or if she was just a short Zora. Because we never see a Zora at that age. We only see adult and little tiny kid. So, like, was Mifa an adult, or was she, like, 12? Oh, no, I... When I say like 12, I mean like like 12 compared to human years. Like, like in Zora years, she was like a hunt. I know. So was she, just, was she just short then? Because every other female Zora was like taller than Link by like half a foot. But then Mifa was shorter than him. And he's a fucking midget. Like Zelda is taller than Link. Like, like Zelda is taller than Link. Without the heels. <laughs> Mifa's the only short Zora. <laughs> like the only midget ever. There's arrows in them, their box. Yeah, there's one shrine I know of that has like three uh, gold ores and then like, I think it's some obscene amount of other crap. Not gonna, yeah, it doesn't work the way you think it does. They literally program the boxes so they only break if they're at max height onto solid ground. Because they're... Well, yeah. You know, they, they said this shrine holds a great treasure. What'd you expect? Let's go. We have an... Yeah, genuinely. 
Let's go. Raru is blessing. You mashed X a little too late, so you jumped instead of skipping it. Nah, no, see, it's shaped pretty much the same. It's like white, so we call it like white amber. You know, that's fine. Random lights of blessing. Let's go. Oh, has so you already done Lurlin Village? You must have, because that one has to come before Lake Hylia. You, you just skipped way ahead. The Gerudo Assault, um... Oh, the, the very top? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, the, the Heaver Snowfield. Yeah, the... The snowfield is a pain in the wheat in the ass. Oh, you're going to Lurland Village. Oh, that's gonna be fucking like ages out there. You're grabbing a whore? Oh my. Basically, in Discord, the ass got cut off. So just like you said, I'm grabbing a whore. And I'm just like, oh, <laughs> all right. Teach a bitch a lesson, I guess. Get a winded on. And you and you still refuse to use two. Okay, there you are. <coughs> no. You have not it's to the south. Then you follow this road and then you split off to the um Fucking east instead of going hey. to north to oh. Kakariko. Oh. Uh, dead south. Faron is dead south. Ah. It's right along the southern coast. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. The second way to we could do that kaiju TTRPG. Oh, you're, oh, you're going to Farron or you're going to Hateno? Okay. Also, fun fact. Farron is the place where Farosh isn't now. Because Farosh is over by the Gerudo. Yeah. I was infuriated when I figured it out. One of my happiest changes they did was, like, keeping the, um, the horse theme. Yeah, it's so nice. I didn't, but every time I do, I'm like, I want the horse music. Because there's a shrine quest that requires a horse to do. And so I was like, I had to like do it. And then I was like, ah, this is, this is nice. Bastard. You gonna get him busted out? Oh, you're busting out the big guns. Well, the blue boss Bacabla. Need your wood.
I love how you commit to like, I'm not wasting weapon durability, I'm just gonna use one arrow. And then every time it's just like, fuck, I missed. I was the same. I, I was just like, all right. I, I would never miss, surely. And away we go. <laughs> Goodbye. Just, just, just. Oh yeah, Tulin's wind gust is like surprisingly strong. <laughs> he always got them W's. My problem with, th with this game was I literally kept, for like most of my, like the first half of my playthrough, I kept the Breath of the Wild habit of it's never worth your time to fight enemies unless they have like gamer weapons. Because uh, you always would waste more weapon durability on good weapons than it would be to take to kill them. Because like parts you didn't really need other than some specific stuff. Yeah. Uh, equip Sidon and then just let him go to town because they physically can't catch up to you. <laughs> You're an evil evening jog. I'm happy they improved the monster theme though. The first game it was so bad. Your, your puff shrooming. You're gonna just get it on the black guys. Yeah. Uh, you, 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 you don't have any muddle buds, do you? Oh, that's sad. Like muddle buds? I don't know if you have any. I mean, you could always just like slap on an arrow and just like fucking send it at a black guy. That sounded very bad. At a black moblin. <laughs> uh, is that a boondocks joke? I always forget, always forget where that comes from. A bridge, yes. <laughs> yeah, it was one big shot. Once you get like all of the sages, you can just like have like a fucking army, just like beat the shit out of them. I, I'm not aware of that mechanic. I don't think that exists. It might. Uh, yes, it did. Hit him with a spear. One hit, one hit, and you're dead. By the way, you're not wearing your combat armor. You're just wearing your walking around armor, which is a two, a three, and a one. Oh uh, yeah, I, I literally would have that because um. Just, just leave the horse and then just, you know, go somewhere else. I'm sure. Like, you see the, 
Goofy DOS Monster Cave. All right. It's not going to go up the cliff, man. <laughs> you just fucking Skyrim this? <laughs> Wait, how is this working? <gasps> well, the horses in this game are so uncooperative when it comes to going up cliffs. Yeah, I, I don't I don't believe in you. <laughs> Come in and you... That's the thing, it's like there's hope, but it's it's just not gonna work. You you're like from like the magic polygon. This, this, this is why I like the ancient bridal, because you can just like whistle and your horse will just teleport to you. <laughs> I mean, you could like make a thing. Maybe. You also could just jump over the top and then just look for a, you know, like, like, like a, a way to get over there. You could try going around the mountain. I think there's a big bastard somewhere around here. Small issue. Slight. Come on, jackass! He almost died from that. Well, actually orange, but you know. They got the bouncy shield. burn the spikes, you know. Oh! There, there's stuff to cook with here. Ah, that's what we're waiting for. Yeah. Make a flying machine with a horse. It's, la it's raining. Why are you throwing fire fruit? You're not very... <laughs> Jesus, man. <laughs> Every time I feel like... <laughs> I feel like fucking a will. Like, you, you know how like, whenever we play Yu-Gi-Oh! We make a stupid mistake. He's like, how? Why? Like, every time. I feel like that was you in this game. Alright, alright, let's see. Hit him with it. You could just climb the wall, you know. It's like the spikes just... The spikes don't go everywhere. You could just climb the wall, my brother. Uncrouch for the love of God. <laughs> uh, Ooh, more honey. I 
I, I can't tell if this is a Yiga hideout or not. It's not. Okay. Yeah. And yeah, bees are kind of cringe in this game. I don't know if that works. Oh. Yeah, the dickhead. It's like, oh yes, I will be I will be known for all of this. You, 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 you can sleep to get your half heart back. Free healing. You just wait till the rain You just wait till the rain's over and burn it down. You're fine. Also, do you have the, the Great Fairy, like, here unlocked? Okay. Huh? Bitch? Huh? <laughs> Tulip's, like, sniping bees out of the air with, like, a, you know, like the strongest bow the Rito ever produced. <laughs> Actually, is it... since you've not seen Hateno yet, actually, I can't wait. You can see the the, the ting, yeah. The Equippington. Yeah. I find it odd how some construct bows like. Have the, like, they have the thing where, like, if you hold them for a while, they'll start draining battery and get, like, farther. But, like, it doesn't trigger all the time. It's weird. You can make a flying machine, you know? Or you make a driving machine. Whatever you want, really. If you have enough zoanite, you can just make it. <laughs> just plugged the hole. You know, the two fans and a steering stick. <laughs> Getting them angled right, I always found really annoying. <laughs> yeah. It might have worked, maybe. <laughs> I say, yeah, it has to be below the standing platform.
and just lean a debt forward. Don't get too high. Uh, you don't have very much charge. Wait patiently. You could have just like gotten off and then regen faster. Well, the current one's the top one, yeah. So you just favor that there. you want man you can fly getting a little big for your britches here <laughs> fair enough I guess I mean, that'll do you. It's just, it's just nice to have. It's cheap to make. Like, I like, yeah, um, I finished the game so fast that this hadn't come into existence yet by the time I finished the game. <laughs> it was useful for 100%ing, but like, I was done with Ganon before this became popularized. Monster Camp, yeah. Go around the side, yeah. <laughs> he's staring, he's staring very depressed at it. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Like once you get once you get max like uh, energy though, literally large charges are not needed. They're so whatever. Like most most reasonable distances, it doesn't really matter. I'm still pissed that wings disappear though. That's 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 the annoying part to me. Uh, to the west, you could have followed the road, but. If he's gonna slide down this mountain, he should have landed on that. <laughs> There's a tree running at you. Did you make a giant loop back to Dueling Peaks? Oh, this could be very bad. <laughs> that That's why I said. If you have ice fruit, you can you can make a little platform to get out there faster. Oh, yeah, o Oakley's enable. Yeah, okay. Your thing's gonna despawn, by the way, if you go too far. Yeah, the game doesn't remember them when it unloads chunks. Leave and come back later. Yeah. Well, you also you also have capsules, so like you don't give a fuck. Yeah, 
you need to go mining in the depths. Yeah, but you want to have a wooden shield to do it. Every time they re swallow their little eye thing, I'm always just like, oh. Uh. Don't work like that, buddy. Yep. The Zonite shields aren't. Also, Reflect doesn't work because he's immune to electricity. You can just run past him, though, if you want. I mean, yeah. It's just... I don't know. I, I get kind of annoyed fighting them after a while, so I just stop caring. Nope, didn't work. All of them, actually. Every last item in the game that can be on the ground goes in there. Welcome to hell. Well, not really, actually. This is pretty fun. Yeah. Yeah, literally, it's just actually Frogger. Um, you can just pick it up and then just like face the where they're coming from, and it's it's just Frogger. I just picked it up manually. Didn't even use Ultra Hand. You're so good. Eventually, yes. If he gets far enough away. That's you just, just just pick it up and you'll move slow enough and then just stare at rock. You can also just attach a rocket to it and send it flying down the cave, but if it gets too far from you it'll um despawn. <laughs> you can't be fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Can't be fucked. Does he even have enough lift to like make that rock go anywhere? Those weigh less than a big rock. Aerodynamics, aerodynamics, fuck. Physics as well. You can also just take these things and slap them on a, one of those big planks back there and then fly that. <laughs> you could have just fucking stubbornly do it. That's why I said physics. <laughs> My brother. <laughs> You gotta, you gotta, like, get that and then be, like, you know, straight. Up and at him. It's all skewed. Oh. Fuck. <laughs> it's about to stop working real quick. Grab it fast, grab it fast. 
Okay. I'm pretty sure that's just stage one. Actually, you have to like dump the thing down on the cliff here and there's a point where it respawns. Yep, yeah, see this little statue thing? If it, like, if it uh, gets fucker, it'll just respawn there now. All right. You would never fail. You're my streamer. Next time you go in the depths, you're gonna have just like infinite glow. Just picky up I guess. Fair enough, fair enough. All right, you, you've made <laughs> an interesting contraption. Even though the beam goes uphill, you must explore downhill because there could be booble frogs. Yes. He's froging all over the place. No. You good. Booble jam. <laughs> You just hear like that E flat, and you're just like, well. You accidentally figured out the solution. <laughs> Basically, that thing spawns typically, and if you're just carrying it, it'll just fucking send you down to the bottom and, re and reset the thing. Yeah, after, after entering the shrine, it'll be deleting your bike. I had already deleted it. Whoopsie. Get your blessing. I know your bike's not gone yet. It'll be gone when you come back out, but... You're taking it in with you. If any, if you could do that, you can't, but well, yeah, cause that's how the loading zone works. Is there's like a little like gap and then it triggers. Raru's blessing. Hello, Rar XD. How goes your day? Occasionally. Yep. Because why not, you know? Oh, you get so many just like normal charges that you can just functionally have infinite energy whenever you want. Yeah, that's the big benefit of doing the shrine is that respawns every blood moon. Ooh. 
Well, they knew how fucking busted they were. Like, everyone's first thing they did was they, like, knew anything about Breath of the Wild. I was like, all right, we go to Mount Satori, we get a giant pile of hardy durians, and we will never need food again. Get a top of the shrine. Nice. That's almost always a solution, is to make the shrine just tall enough. Or more aptly, the ceiling just low enough. You're at a hot spring. Yes. That was a cool thing in, yeah, in, the, in previous games, yeah. It was such a cool mechanic. Yeah. Or it's a, um, what's it called, thing. You want to get this uh, tower right next to you? Uh, just up this mountain. Or is it next to you? I, I don't know how far away it is. Or like if, if you already like you know made the trip. Gotta get them eyeballs. Cause it's. it's it's, it's, it's like right there. Like you'll make up the distance by flying off after you get to the tower. So like it just saves you time. <laughs> the hitboxes are so weird in this game. Still of thirty, sorry, sturdy thick stick. Such an interesting name for a weapon. With the toolin, you can at least get halfway. Might be better to jump off like this little ridge here and not go all the way up, because you lose um distance back. They all have the exact same model. You don't have to check. No Korok? Well, ain't that something. There's a big fuck hole over there, you know. Oh yeah, because it's not, not actually on top of a mountain, like, unlike I thought. It's just a little thing you may do, Hicker. Oh, is it? Is this the gaming one? No, it's not the gaming one. All right. Or is it? It might be gaming. It's gaming. Okay, we're good. You must think to do this one. Not really, no. Well, actually, yeah, actually, because it's, it's eternally raining. Also, there's Nadra. Hello, Nadra. Welcome to Rebella Wetlands Tower. Can't cut it. Does skew still work? Oh, I love your first response. Like, look at someone's like, we're not going to beat the logic puzzle. We're just going to just clip. Oh. 
How does one burn something that is wet? I like your enthusiasm. <laughs> you get numpty. Let's see. Oh! Improvise, adapt, overcome. Holy, you did it, all right. Well, the, the actual solution is you build a little thing over top of it and throw a fire fruit at it. Yep. <laughs> you just bust out the oxyacetylene or something like that, the propane. You gotta launch yourself. It's time to launch. I just love major just flying in the distance. It's so cinematic. Oh, I still can't wait to get get to get to a one part in the game that comes later. Like genuinely, it's just so cool. That's all I'm saying. This is this is there's a really cool thing that happens later in the game. <laughs> <laughs> there's cool stuff and then there's um, a couple of interesting things here and then there's the Ganon fight I come over that that's not a spoiler because there's you know you have to fight Ganon <laughs> every Zelda game works like this but you see the giant thing I should also tell you, uh, the, the tear is not in the blade, like around that thing. It's really annoying if you like go hunting over there looking for it, and it's not. So I'm just going to tell you that. Just for your own sanity. It's, it's in the handle and the hilt. Yeah, well, it's some, some kind of curved blade. Oh, you may want to avoid all of the, uh, everything that's going on over there. Ooh, star. Get the star. Behind you. You can go land on the shrine if you want. It's not that far a fly from me. It's a pirate ship, yep. It's the bastards, plural. Hello, Bolson. Yeah, so Link has to go kill all the fucking pirates. He says, I'll have it fixed up, as if Link won't have to do most of the work. I would recommend not fighting them now. You can do it if you want, but there's a lot of black ones. And so it kind of like blows through all your weapons. So I'd recommend having a lot of good ones and also maybe some more health and armor. But if you want to go, if you, if you want to go crazy, go crazy. Mm. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, well, when I beat that shrine, I literally, because I hate proving ground so fucking much, um, I literally just, just sent it. Crouching in the open doesn't mean you're invisible. <laughs> what a conundrum. Yeah, this one's a pain in the fucking asshole. You can't teleport into an enemy. Yeah, like... <laughs> hey, man, how's it going? <laughs> I'm just still so happy these guys die instantly if they fall in water. But yeah, this is why this is really annoying if you don't have, like, infinite health. Also, that zapping guy is, like, such a pain in the ass. Smoked, cooked. He wasn't ready. Yep, you see, this ice stuff makes those cool little, cool little game things. Plus, if you get those uh, electric fruits, you can put them on your arrows, and then you can be a bastard. Oh, did, you, did you grab the bow or no? I couldn't tell if those were on your back or not. I just don't know why this like like shrines have like such good music for some of the worst puzzles in existence. You gotta be facing it. Grab another one, yeah. Uh, ouchie. So you currently have a solid one and a half hearts, all right? You would never die to random shock damage. This would never occur. Also, you take arbitrary damage. It would never happen. You can eat some shock roots if you want. They don't do much. <laughs> They're better served shooting people with. There's also ice fruits up there. I'd recommend being very careful. He does in fact have an ice rod as well. <laughs> you're, you're so skilled. They're spiky brambles. <laughs> You're giving me a fucking. You got. Oh, you got cooked. You got smoked. It's a fucking slotted platform, you're on. What do you expect? <laughs> Get absolutely shit stomped, though. Alright, so this time you would never take random thunder damage. This would never occur. Is your plan to get fucked? <laughs> that seems to be likely. <laughs> you can also put a barrel in your spear if you want. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> you got the box spear. He figured it out. 
by god. Also, you're gonna get fucking zapped by a fun thing up, so I'd recommend going upwards. <laughs> it don't work like that, brother. He's gonna hit the water. Oh, if he hits the water, you're fucked, though. And like a giant, like, you know, a giant thunder explosion. Like, I told you! This shrine is ass. One of the most ass shrines in the game. And there are several. Alright, four hearts in a dream. Yeah, you can just grab like an ice fruit if you want and like freeze them. That's what I did. He is standing still, my brother. Don't get sniped from below, though. He's dead. Okay. It's mode controlled. Epic little pranked. place so he slid off as it moved because physics works like in quotes in this game and then you got fucking shot <laughs> it's so bad it is the most jank stupid terrible shrine ever I hate it I hate it so much This was literally one of the last four shrines I did because I was so not having fun. <laughs> you didn't even kill him. Oh, you are you you are something special. You were that giant bomb. Ah! <laughs> I forgot to mention one of them can throw bombs. I have a heart and a dream. <laughs> He's not accounting for the movement. Oh, there you are. My god. Yeah, some of them have bombs they can throw at you, by the way. Oh. Uh, <laughs> they really got fucking sea mind. Sea mind, you know, they used to sink ships with. Alright, so spear with the box on it. Alright, let's see. Let's see. Spear with the barrel on it. Alright. Why would you throw your sword? <laughs> you're you're so you're so good at what you do. <laughs> Alright, let's see, let's see. Let's see him cook, let's see him cook. Alright. Hit him with it. Alright, there you are. Get you, get your ton of fruits. Now, uh, get the fuck away from the water. <laughs> free. Free arrow. You only get three per enemy, though, sadly.
He's finally looked up. Let's go. This is where the bombs are, yeah. You can put these on arrows, by the way. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> that guy saved your fucking life. You were frozen. <laughs> you were fucking dead. <laughs> like, dead dead. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I got fucking blown up. Oh... <laughs> <laughs> you are the luckiest man alive. Oh my god. Did you, you killed them? They, they killed themselves. Alright. Get epic latrolled, oh my. I think it's only ice guys now. Actually, there might be still be a thunder guy. <laughs> yeah. Only some of them do. Oh, so, that, so you got another thunder guy, alright. <laughs> He's realized the intended solution. Now, you would never get shot by the enemy who one-shots you. This would never occur. You, you were getting obstructed. All right, you make you make the thing. All right. Shock fruit him. Twist his dick. All right. I would rec. I'd recommend backing up. <laughs> you, you were cooking. You, <laughs> you were cooking so hard there, and you burned yourself. <laughs> you tried. All right. Okay. Let's see it. Let's see it. I <laughs> Gladly. All right. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> you had it down. You had to get the execution right. You're like, all right, nah, I got to cook. <laughs> okay, now what's your win condition? <laughs> You're so lucky these guys are so shit at aiming. You didn't, you didn't even grab your shit. You don't have a weapon. You didn't grab a weapon. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. All right, buddy. <laughs> I, that remains to be seen. All right, you, fi you figured that out, all right. All right, and now, now the shrine's easy. Yeah, so th this is the bit that no one ever tells you that like no one ever like thinks to do. Or you think to do it immediately and the shrine is literally free. <laughs> Aren't you happy I didn't tell you about this stuff? You, you didn't grab any. 
<laughs> you're, cook you're, you're cooking a little too hard. <laughs> but yeah, the, the shrine is literally like piss easy free. It's just no one ever thinks to grab these things and drop the bastards in. I didn't think of it my first time I went through it. Um, basically on, 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 on retries when I was like, like, oh, I know it wasn't actually that bad. Um, <laughs> I realized that I was like, oh, but th this shrine's just fucking easy, huh? You still have no bow, so you just have to just like wing it. You just fly in. And... You're really just trying to throw, huh? You're trying your very hardest. There you are. Okay. I get epic la troll. <laughs> okay, I respect the cooking. I respect the cooking. It's one of those, like, it's just part of the mechanic that, like, once you really start thinking, it gets kind of gets kind of crazy. Of just like how much you can do with recall and um, ultra hand. Hold up. <laughs> this is like the fucking thing. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh. This is like, it's like a fucking World War One. They had an anti tank weapon where it was literally just a bomb on a stick that you ran over and stabbed the tank with. That's better than the magic rod. You're, you're kind. You're kind of going brazy. Oh, I'm still happy you did figure out the cheese, where you could just fucking rip out their platforms from under them. <laughs> just fucking take the ground from beneath their feet. Alright, I'd rather be just flying over to the geoglyph than just not even bothering with these bastards, because I don't... You can just fly along the edge of town, you're fine. So what are they going to do? Catch up to you? They, they can't catch up to you with a, you're doing a brisk jog. A cookie solution? <laughs> you have rockets. These are so much better. These are more trash. <sighs> Tool in immediately. Oh, come on. Do you, uh, my brother. You're just gonna drop it down the cliff now. You are something special I would highly recommend just tooling over you've already gone minus on bombs you are <laughs> the luckiest bastard just, just just fly to the left you don't oh he's got a cook no you have you are. You are. The. <laughs> you are a Zelda player of all time, huh? <laughs> just, 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 I, uh, you. Stop hitting the shield button. 
Oh my god. I. I. <laughs> this is, I think, the ultimate goofy ah traversal. <laughs> you know, have fucking just like penis music going on to this. <laughs> You're just gonna break your shield just bashing it on the ground. <laughs> oh god. Oh. You're gonna forget you have a bomb on the spear, stab something, and then fucking kill yourself. Up. Oh no, down, down into the water. Into the water. You gotta dive into it. Yeah. It's like all those ones that used to have like the, the circle of the lily pad and you had to jump in the middle. In a, a dull wild. They mostly don't exist. I know of like one of them. I think. Unless I'm misremembering. Because the same fucking map, so I like can't have like distinguished in my brain two different chunks. So I can tell you it's not on like the giant curved blade. Because that was infuriating to look for when I looked for it. Sadly, no. Oh, well, there's a lot of bananas around here you can get to get mighty uh, food. Lots of bananas. It's like this even tide island. There is, yeah, but even tide in this place are like the cheapest. Mighty thistle. You need that for barbarian armor upgrades. Well, I still find it funny how, like, all of the mighty stuff is on the stabbing geoglyph. Like, the, 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 this place is just, like, a designated violent. You see a... P uh-huh. I wonder what that could be. You... Don't throw that spear. Got a little too close, huh? Ah. Ah, I told you you were gonna forget that bomb was there and blow yourself up. Who fucking called? Ah! <laughs> oh god. Never change, Josh. Never change. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> I was going to say, you can leave that on there, huh? Oh. <laughs> All right. You go collect your banana. Yeah, I'm not gonna have you like traverse, you know, all the way down that that sword blade because it's so annoying. Link is a dickhead, and he just will like not pick things up. Sometimes he's like you're mashing A, and he's just like, hmm, what if I didn't? All right, now you're gonna throw a fire fruit, and you're gonna walk away <laughs> carefully.
<laughs> free fan. And another free fan. What if you could, though? I still hate how this game is programmed me every time I pick up a rock to just keep mashing A. Um, because... What's it called? Uh, thingy. Basically, like... Not, not, not Koroks, it's, um... Like, lizards underneath it. Unless you're wearing stealth armor, they just immediately run away. So if you just mash A, though, they don't have time to react. This is not the blade, this is the hilt. Or maybe the cross guard is more apt. It is still the hilt, because the hilt is the whole construction, but... Yeah. And a lot of cool tacks, but also a lot of bugs. Yeah. But it's 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 magic geoglyph grass, all right? All right, you're now dead center. Ignoring banana trees, gaming. You, you foregore a couple of them. I <laughs> You not hoarding resources? Holy shit. I love you looked right at it and then walked away from it. <laughs> Gotta, you don't want to miss the second secret memory. Where, where you know, Zelda's giving like, like the ultra spicy, uh, you know, view. Zelda, we are alone as you requested. What was it you wanted to discuss with me in private? <laughs> you are far too trusting. <laughs> well, that night before I would even have done anything. I'm surprised to hear you say such a thing. That is quite out of character for the Zelda I know. But then you are a puppet of Ganondorf. Did you really think we hadn't realized your deceit? <laughs> yeah. All right. So anyway, this is why you keep checking your six. Yeah. <laughs> he arrived and killed her in one punch. Nope, that was his fist. Have you looked at look at him? Look at that fucking grin, though. Hee hee ha ha hoo hoo.
<laughs> so anyway, the one by Lake Halley is her fucking tombstone. <laughs> the one by Lake Halley is in the shape of her fucking tombstone, so you had to go here first. <laughs> Yeah, I think there's another memory in the interim between this and Hylia, like Hylia. I think. <laughs> yep. <laughs> he literally just cracked her like a fucking walnut. Yeah, the snowfield one. Okay, yeah. So we, we, we grab the snowing field, which is a double, um, double cold area. Why are you teleporting here? <laughs> Okay, yeah. Alright, fair enough. Let me pull up the Zelda map so I actually know where Hateno is. You put a peen in it? <laughs> 